It's Vlogmas Day 10. Since we've no place to go, let it snow. Welcome to the T Let it snow. Let it snow. Hey guys, welcome back to the Tea Life. It's your boy Jeffrey. We're actually on our way to go pick up some brownies for Jackson. Because Jackson wants some brownies. He's upset because um, Jeremy ate his brownie. So we're getting him another brownie right now. I wanted to vlog today about my VSG journey. So I had my doctor's appointment, my three month checkup yesterday. So I started at 330 pounds and now I'm at 260 pounds. I'm, I have 30 more pounds to go to say so I can finally say that I lost 100 pounds. Now, my goal weight right now, as I said before, is 200 pounds and build muscle. Now, I have a secret to tell you guys. For some reason, I think I've lost some motivation. I haven't been going to the gym, especially with the cases rising up again with the COVID. And like, I just don't want to risk getting sick because there's a lot of people who go to the gym and yo, they don't wear any masks. Like, they refuse to wear masks. And it, and it makes me uncomfortable because I'm working out doing a cardio and i'm also you know pushing weight but i got a mask on at all times so this was more of a update of what's going on and how i'm feeling now i did want to say that i still have a lot of acid reflex and i feel like i'm getting it more now i get more acid reflex now than ever before so um i do take pepside pepside um i take two little tablets every night just to make sure that i you know it, get, it gets rid of it and for some reason i feel restless like i'm i feel i'm not tired but i feel like i can't i can't fall asleep like i need i'm having issues falling asleep so um i think that's the only thing that i'm going through the pain in my leg that's officially gone away thank god because it was probably the worst the worst pain it my wife says like the doctor everyone says that it's literally it's sciatica like I was having sciatica on my leg and for most pregnant women, sciatica is horrible. And men also get that same feeling or sometimes they get the same issue, which is sciatica. Now that thing is the worst. I've been eating right. Like I've been eating a good. I stay away from pasta, like I said. Like I'll have, like for Thanksgiving is my, my was my official cheat date because it was Thanksgiving. And I can't even say I cheated because it was just a tiny bit of rice and it was mostly turkey. Like I made sure that I'm always on top of proteins. Now, I, I, I have to admit, I'm not a type of person that I like to take vitamins. However, I'm forced to take vitamins, but I feel like I eat enough vegetables, I eat enough fruits, I eat enough protein for me not to take any vitamins. But part of this surgery is you have to take vitamins. And now, knowing now that, I've been taking my vitamins. So I, I think my point is not getting enough rest because for some reason, like, I can't fall asleep. And I'll sleep for about four or five hours and then in the day i'll be tired like i'll take a nap in the day and then that that would be the rest of my day yeah i feel like there's something wrong and i think it's more of a mental issue that i'm having right now where i'm not motivated i'm not motivated enough to go to the gym anymore and i do pay the subscription but i feel like what am i doing like i feel like i'm at a loss right now and so i, I really need to find the, the deep now and i need to refine that motivation of going to the gym because i feel like by me not going to the gym i'm I'm gaining weight and honestly i'm not gaining weight because i i periodically step on the scale and i, I lose one pound two pounds three pounds so I'm, I'm losing the weight however the issue here is just motivation like i need to go to the gym like that's my thing my, my new year's resolution that now we're about to have uh, new year's is for me to be motivated enough to now start getting ripped like you know 60 pounds left for me to hit my my, my goal weight and if I started at 330 pounds about three and a half months ago. That means I can get to where I want to be at. 
one of the things I think I really have lost kind of motivation is because we're still in this pandemic. Like, I don't have any friends out here in Virginia. Like, I don't have anybody to link up with or I just started drinking seltzer yesterday. And I take a couple sips here and there just so I don't like it doesn't mess up my stomach. And like, I understand why some people can't have any seltzer whatsoever because of the bubbles really, really hurt their stomach. Because I felt that in the beginning and I'm like, I'm going to try just one more time to make sure. So I did do that and I was like, oh, okay, you know, it's not, not, a, not a, like it hurt. And then I did it again and then it, I didn't have the same issue. So, um, yeah, I stay away from sugary drinks and I've tried it. Like, I don't get me wrong. Like I've tried it and I can't, I just can't do it. Like it's so much sugar. Like I accidentally took a sip of my, my son's drink and it was Coke. And I was like, oh my God, like, I don't know how, like I, you can taste how sugary it is. And you're like, yo, this is not for me. Like I've been drinking water for the past almost three months four months already so i feel like now i can only drink water and it's the only thing i drink it's water and i love it and sometimes i'll have black coffee with no sugar because i've tried splenda but i just can't do it i still can't do the flavor so that's how i'm currently feeling um i'm gonna keep you guys updated because i feel like at this point i have eating i've been eating right and i can eat everything i want but i personally in me and I know I make the right choices because I know it's like I didn't get the surgery for no reason. Like, I don't want to go back to the way things were like, I'm happy where I'm at. Now, I have lost a lot of weight where I need to buy clothes and stuff gets really expensive. I think I bought two pairs of jeans that I actually got to fit at a store. Like I went to the Levi store and I found my size. I didn't have to go to a big and tall. I didn't have to go to a Ross where they have like a size 46 or 48. Like I don't fit in that. This thing is huge. Now I fit in the 38. Form. I feel like I need to, I need to step away from home for a while. Like I need to go on a little vacation, but we're not even in the, it's not even the right time for that. Like we're not there yet. So, you know, it, it is what it is, as I can say. So if you guys haven't noticed, today's uh, vlog is going to be pretty short because uh, Marta's not feeling well. Um, we've had some family issues that happened. So, um, Unfortunately, she's not going to be in the vlog in t today. She's not going to be in the vlog today. And uh, with that being said, guys, she's going to have a better day tomorrow. We all will, hopefully. And uh, always in love and appreciate everything you have, okay? So I want to give you guys like a quick like visual so I can show you what I look like. This shirt was given to me as a Christmas present two years ago by my, my sister-in-law. And she gave it to me as a 2X because that was my size then. And I just wanted to show you, like, this is what it looks like now. It was, yeah, my thing was really tight. Like, it was very, very tight. These pants as well. So all my clothes look really, really baggy. And that's because I've lost a lot of weight. So I'm going to show you real quick what my body looks like. And I just need to lose another 30 pounds so I can say that I lost 100 pounds. So this is kind of, like, where I'm at. Now, I do have loose skin, but I'm, like I said, I lost some motivation. I am going to go back to the gym so I can work out these guns and uh, actually get back in shape. So I hope you guys help me and motivate me so I can go back to the gym. With that being said, guys, thank you so, so much. I love you guys, I appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed this vlog. See you guys tomorrow.